You are juggling a lot this season. The tournament, Terry Silver, Anthony having a bigger role, Amanda Tori. I can go on and on. What is your process for getting a sense of if it's the right balance and how many key story threads to include? Because I was very impressed by how much is in season four and how it all makes sense. You know, it's it's always a challenge in the writer's room. This was a unique season because we have Johnny and Daniel together in, in a story uh, for the first time. And they're sharing a lot of screen time. So it freed up some room for other characters to to uh, spread their wings a little bit. But the All-Valley Tournament, that was baked in. Terry Silver, we knew that we wanted to bring him back this season and have him, uh, you know, team up with with Kreese and be a, uh, uh, a rival to the Johnny and Daniel team up. And Anthony's been there hiding in plain sight this whole time. He's uh, a character that we've always loved. He's usually been uh, a good source of punchlines, but we figured it was time for him to have his own Karate Kid journey and uh, it's uh, it's always a challenge finding the right balance, but uh, season four was uh, was a really fun one. You know, it's so funny. We we had so much story in season four, like John said, because Johnny and Daniel are sharing space. You know, they they naturally become the A story together, and we knew we were introducing new characters. You know, such as Kenny and Devin, and we knew we were going to do interesting things. You know, when it comes to what the tournament is and how that's going to evolve. And we wanted to lay everything in, you know, as as easily and as with enough flow as possible without the episodes just ballooning to a point of feeling cumbersome. But, um, you know, we, we hit that sweet spot as you're as you're putting cards on the wall, you're shifting things around. You're saying, can we do this in, in three episodes as opposed to cramming it all into one? And it becomes like a ballet. It becomes an orchestra. You're feeling, you know, you need more strings in one episode and you need more woodwinds in the next. And, uh, you know, we're really proud of how much story we've been able to, to tell in season four. So I know that you've said it kind of came down to the wire with Elizabeth Shue uh, last season. And it made me wonder, have you always known that Thomas would 100 percent get involved in season four? Or is there ever a, you know, a backup plan in case Terry Silver wasn't a big role this time around? Anytime that we approach a cast member from one of the original movies, we are very optimistic and very hopeful and you know very confident in our abilities to sell what we're going to be doing with their character and you know especially with Thomas and Griffith I mean we we knew that uh we had a lot of fun stuff planned for Terry Silver so you know you never know obviously you know they have to say yes um, but we've been lucky that, you know, whenever we talk to these actors, they usually respond really well to, you know, what we're pitching. And, you know, also for most actors who've been in those movies, like they really love the Karate Kid. It was a huge part of their career. So it's, it's a thrill. It's, it's, it's a, like a high school reunion for them to, to come back into this world. And they've now seen what we've done with Cobra Kai. So, you know, I, we're, we're, we're pretty confident we could get uh, almost any character from the movies at this point. I believe in you guys. I also believe you can get someone else if you really wanted, because seeing Andrew Garfield's reaction to the show delighted me to no end. So I'm going to put you on the spot creatively. Let's say he wanted to join the show, I guess, for season six at this point. What kind of character would you cast him as and which dojo would he join? I don't even know how to answer that right now. I will say that we were we were giddy as well when we saw his reaction and how much he loves the show. We're we're all fans of his. He's such an amazing, talented actor that you'd want to find something that is surprising. I think that you'd want you'd give him a, a unique look and a unique feel and a unique angle and make him unlike any other character in the show. I think that's where we'd start. But as to any specifics, I I probably shouldn't say anything because who knows? Maybe he will be on the show, and I don't want to take any chances oh, I, I, of, uh, of ruining that. I know in the, in the video, Andrew Garfield had mentioned Miyagi-Do forever. So I have a feeling that he's going to gravitate towards uh, Daniel LaRusso. I feel like he's a tech billionaire who buys out all the auto, you know, uh, sales places in the Valley and becomes just the ultimate foil for everybody. You spoiled, yeah. all, spoiled it. Every, you can't do it now. <laughs> it all suggests it's just such different things, but it speaks to his versatility as an actor. And I could see him in all those roles. Exactly. <laughs> thank you guys for your time today. And yet again, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Talk to you soon. All right. Until next time.